it's Miss Stair, and I am so happy to be with you here today. I am the music teacher at Concord International School. Go Concord Pumas. Um, and I'm glad that we get to make music together today. Uh, we have a couple of different songs that we're going to get started on. But first, I think it's really important that we say hello to one another. I'm glad that we get to make some music here because honestly, not being at school right now, I've noticed I still like to make as much noise as I do in my music room, but my cat doesn't really love all of the noise all the time. So I'm really hoping to see you all very soon again, but in the meantime, I think we can learn and sing and be creative together. So our very, very first song is called Hola, and it is a song that I learned. I told you before that I'm trying to learn a new song every week. Um, and the song that I learned today was by Suni Paz. Hola is the name of the song. So if you have a chance to look it up later, if you like it, I would search Hola, Suni Paz, and Elizabeth Mitchell. Um, but for right now, let's do our best with our version. Okay, I had to remember how that part went. You have a part in this song. And the words are pretty straightforward. I'm gonna show you your part here in just a second. Here's how it goes. with me. Two more times. One more time. The nice thing is, is it's just word. one word. Can you all say hola? Hola means hello if you didn't know that. Como esta? Hola, hello. So your part is to sing, hola, hola, hola. This song has lots of other words, and honestly, if we had more time, I would love to teach all of them to you. But for right now, I'm gonna sing the other parts of the song, and I'll direct my ukulele like this to you, so you know when it's your turn to sing. But I think you'll be able to hear when it comes in as well. Let's make sure that we sing, hola, 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 at our part to say hello. Let's give it a try. Cada día nos trae algo mucho mejor. Abre cualquier puerta y dile, dile hola, hola, hola. Can we do the song part starting there again by any chance? Because I also realized that I didn't touch this. My apologies. That's why you're going to sleep on us? Yeah, I could also start from the very beginning again if that would be good, or is the song well, okay? Just pick up on a wide shot just so it's an easy place to cut. And then dip it to black just for. Uh, that tells me there's an edit point. Why is there black there? There should be video. Oh, sure. Yeah. All right, so tell me to come up on two, and you'll be. You're looking at your normal camera, but I'm going to okay. distract you. So come up on her. All right, here's the song. Cada día nos trae algo mucho mejor. Abre cualquier puerta y dile, dile son a Mis pies a la 
gonna fall out. It is so wonderful to see you and so great to say hello. It can brighten someone's day just to hear your voice saying, hi, good to see you. Such an important part of music making is taking a deep breath sometimes. So we're going to do bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. So I want you to take your hands and I want you to go ahead and put them on your legs to keep this rhythm with me. And let's go ahead and breathe. Here we go. Bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many breaths do you wish? Now I want you to think of a number between one, two, three, four, or five. Normally I'll have my students choose that number, but because I'm the only one here today, I'll choose the number three. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my breath ball, but then the second question is English, Spanish, or our mystery language my students get to choose. But today, since I'm the only one, I'll do one of our mystery languages today. So I want you to go ahead and take three deep breaths with me, imagining your lungs opening up just like this ball. Here we go. Isa. Dalawa. Tatlo. Very nice. Now, because I didn't get all the way up to five with our mystery language today, I'll go ahead and show you anyway. Counting to five in our mystery language sounds like this. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. I'm going to give my students to think if they remembered what language that was or if they've heard it before. Now, because during October we did a lot of activities for Filipino History Month, I think that one of my brilliant students would raise their hand and say, that's Tagalog. And I would say, yes, absolutely it is. So we counted today to three, all the way up to five actually, in Tagalog, one of the many languages spoken in the Philippines. Now, we're only going to do bubblegum today one time. And the reason that we're doing that is because I realized we don't all have a ball like this in our house. But most of us have a hand handy. So we are going to do something that my good friend, Miss Francesca, the counselor over at Concord, taught me how to do. And it's taking a breath of five. Now she taught me that I could put my hand on the edge just like this and trace my fingers, taking a deep breath in. When I moved up and breathing out, when I moved down. And any time that I feel stressed, I try to remember that this is a way that I can help to calm my body down. So let's give it a try. You can follow with my hand and do the same thing, or you can go at your own pace, whichever works better for you. But let's give it a try. Starting at one corner, let's begin. Breathing in. Now that's much better. Thank you. This next song is one of my favorites because it reminds me of some of the things that honestly I need to be reminded of on occasion. And I thought that it was a really wonderful song to share with you all today. We did it early this school year at Concord. But this song is another one by one of my favorites 
Ella Jenkins, and um, it's called I Looked Into the Mirror. Now, I want you to learn this song too. We're going to do a little bit of echoing. Echo, echo, echo. But first, I'm going to sing the whole song for you, and then I'm going to ask you to join in. All right. Let me make sure that I remember my ukulele part. Okay, I think I've got it. I'll do my very best. All right, this song is I Looked Into the Mirror, originally sung by Ella Jenkins, but I'm doing my best to honor her in our version. You're someone very special. All right. Now, my students and I came up with some fun hand motions to this song. So I'm going to teach you to echo, echo, while also doing the hand motions with me. So this time, when I say the words, I looked into the mirror, I want you to sing back. I looked into the mirror. And whatever my hands do, I want yours to do too. Let's do a little practice though. I want you to see if you can mirror my hands. Ooh, nicely done. All right, so you're going to move your hands with me as we sing and move to this song. Let's give it a try. I looked into the mirror, I looked into the mirror, just the other day, just the other day. I looked into the mirror, I looked into the mirror, and this is what the mirror had to say, and this is what the mirror had to say. Well, you look just like me, well, you look just like me. Now, don't you see? Now, don't you see? You do the very things that I do. You do the very things that I do. No one else is quite like you. No one else is quite like you. Well, that's because, well, that's because you're someone very special. You're someone very special. Now, especially on that last one, I don't want you to feel like you have to echo my motions. I want you to choose a pose that makes you feel special. Maybe it's this. Maybe your special pose is this. Maybe your special pose is, hmm, I don't know, something that just you think of. So at the very end of the song, instead of doing what I do, I want you to come up with your own. Now that's a lot to remember, so if you feel like you just make, want to make your own moves up to the song, go for it. But let's go ahead and try and sing it with the ukulele, echoing after me, and doing some of the hand motions. And remember to make your special pose at the end. Let's give it a try. And then my ukulele part goes like. All right. I made a mistake. Thanks for being patient with me. It's okay to make mistakes sometimes. I think we're ready. Let's echo. I looked into the mirror. I looked into the mirror. Just the other day. Just the other day. I looked into the mirror. I looked into the mirror. And this is what the mirror had to say. This is what the mirror had to say. Well, you look just like me. Well, you look just like me. Now, don't you see? Now, don't you see? You do the very things that I do. You do the very things that I do. No one else is quite like 
like you. Come on, no says quite like you. Well, that's because, well, that's because you're someone very special. You're someone very special. Well, that's because, that's because you're someone very special. Special pose. Good. You are someone very special, but sometimes, honestly, it's hard to remember that. So what I did with my students is we found some post-its. So we got some post-its and something to write with. And we decided to think about the things that make us feel special. Reasons that we feel like we are special. Now, you don't need a post-it to do this activity, but I thought it would be a lot of fun if we tried to do it from wherever we are together. So I have three different things that you can respond to. Now I want you to see if you can try and find some kind of piece of paper and something to write with. And I'm going to show you the activity that we did. Oh, Post-its. Now I asked students to respond to one of these three sentence prompts. The very first one that you could choose to write about or finish is I am special because, and then you could finish that sentence. Now, I know for me, when I think about that question, it's kind of hard and high pressure. So I might want to move on to the second one instead to start, but I can always come back to the first. The second one you could say is, I feel special when. Hmm. And for me, if I think about a way of finishing that, I could think, I feel special when I am able to create something new. That makes me feel special. If it's food or if it's a song, I feel special when I create something new. And then I had some students tell me that it was kind of hard to answer those questions and they wanted to write a nice note for someone else. So this third one right here could be a note that you write for another person, a reminder to give them. You could write, you are special because, and give it to someone that you care about. So if I think about that one, I could think of writing a note to my mom. I could write, you are special because, let me think about my mom. You are special because you are brave, and when you are brave, it makes me feel brave. I think that's a note that I would write my mom and maybe give it to her. So you could choose to write a note to someone else, write about a moment that you feel special, and oh, you know what, I think I thought of an idea. I am special because hmm, I can share my happiness with others. That's just one of the things that I can think of. I am special because I can share my happiness with others. So choose one and see which one you'd like to respond to. Now, I know that I don't really have very many post-its at home, so I have a few more ideas for you before you get started. If you have anything like some tape, maybe a notepad, maybe a piece of mail, maybe some scissors, or maybe some crayons, you could do this activity too. So even if you don't have post-its, and you have some paper instead, you could just take one of these pieces of paper, and they're a little bit small. Some of them are used up, but I found a blank one. If I take that piece of paper out, all I have to do is take it, and I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half. Hamburger style is what my art teacher would call that. And then I go ahead and flatten it out and make a nice crease. Instead of worrying about a post-it sticking on something, if I put it out like this, it can be a nice little note. So I could take a crayon and I could write a nice little message up there on the front. So I could take my crayons and write something there. Now, if I don't have any notebook paper or printer paper, I can also find something with permission, an old piece of mail, maybe that no one needs. And once it's opened, some of these actually have some pretty cool patterns. Of course, asking permission before we cut up any mail, because sometimes they're important things, and sometimes there are things that we don't really need anymore. Old pieces of paper. And I can take my scissors, 
and just very carefully cut out another piece of paper. Now I could use it to make another tent or if I have some tape, maybe I cut it into a short little square like this. And one of my favorite things, I actually did this yesterday as I was thinking about this lesson. I actually wrote myself some nice messages and because of our song, I put these up right next to my mirror, these nice notes for myself. So you can use a piece of tape, a post-it, or any kind of piece of paper that you can find to leave a nice note for yourself or for someone else that you really care about. Thank you for taking the time to remind people in your life that they are special and remind yourself that you are special. Right, our last activity of the day is going to be a read aloud book. Now, this book actually doesn't have any music in it, but it was a recommendation um, from a friend of mine, Miss Brandon, over at Leshi Elementary School. Um, and I thought that it was a great way to pull together some of the ideas that we've been talking about today. So, our closing book is You Hold Me Up by Monique Gray Smith and Danielle Daniel. You Hold Me Up. You Hold Me Up by Monique Gray Smith and Danielle Daniel, published by the Orca Book Publishers. This book was written in the spirit of reconciliation and is dedicated to the children, families, and staff of Aboriginal Head Start programs and dedicated to Melanie Hunt. You hold me up when you are kind to me. When you share with me. When you learn with me. You hold me up when you play with me. When you laugh with me, when you sing with me, kind of like we've been doing together today. You hold me up when you comfort me, when you listen to me, when you respect me. You hold me up. I hold you up. We hold each other up. And that is the end of our book. I want you to think about some ways that you can hold each other up, that you can lean on others, and that we can support each other during this time. I'm so happy that I got to have music with you together again today. And I hope that you have fun creating music all around you throughout your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>